going on? I'm super excited for this video because we are going to be talking about tangles by hair type in the natural hair community. And when I say hair type, I'm really referring to high porosity hair and low porosity hair and how they come about per hair type, all right? And then I'm going to share ingredients to look for that's going to help you to detangle your hair effortlessly. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about how they come about. I feel like we know what tangles are, but how do they they happen like what makes them come about so with high porosity hair and low porosity hair there are some similarities in this area when it comes to tangles however with high porosity hair there is the exception of the fact that you guys have a lifted cuticle now what happens is with this lifted cuticle is that when your hair glides past each other instead of it gliding smoothly because of those lifted cuticles it snags against each other and this is how tangles come about now to kind of avoid this i am a huge huge fan of pre-cooling your hair secondly for high porosity hair please be very mindful when it comes to chemical services like coloring and whatnot and then last but not least when you are moisturizing your hair be sure that your cuticles are as sealed as possible now when it comes to bulk hair hair ties but leads to tangles, the culprit of course is going to be dryness. Dry hair is going to have a lack of lubrication on the cuticle. And when there is a lack of lubrication on the cuticle, that is where the tangles can come about as well. So making sure that you are not only getting moisture to your hair, but also locking in moisture, like doing the PNP method, which is a game changer by the way, link will be below, is gonna help you significantly when it comes to better moisturizing natural hair. And the next culprit is going to be shedded hair. Now, a lot of you guys get nervous when it comes to shedded hair because it seems like it's too much or it's extreme. That is a thing for sure. However, keep in mind that our hair sheds 100 strands a day. And shedded hair is completely different from breakage. Shedded hair is gonna be long pieces of hair that come directly out of the scalp. And pretty much it's the result of our scalp wanting to make room for new hair to come through. Now the issue is when we don't comb our hair every single day, or at least run our fingers through our hair every single day, by day five, we have about 500 strands of hair just sitting up in our hair. And what happens is these 500 strands of hair will intertwine itself with the hair already within our hair and that can create tangles as well. So combing your hair every single day thoroughly or at least getting your fingers through your hair if not every day at least once every two days will help tremendously when it comes to reducing tangles within your hair. Okay now let's talk about these ingredients to look for. I want to say this, all these ingredients I'm going to talk about are going to create a film on the hair. Now in the natural hair community, films have gotten such a bad rep. Like films are bad, they don't wash off your hair, that is false, and that is false again. <laughs> Pretty much every ingredient is designed to either create a film on the hair, or at least come into contact with the hair long enough to do its job. Your favorite oil creates a film on the hair. Now what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you are regularly washing your hair, not with a co-wash, with an actual shampoo. And if you have issues with product buildup, then clarifying your hair once a month will be ideal for this as well. Now for the ingredients, number one, look for polymers within the first five or six, or at least the middle part of the ingredient list. And when I say polymers, I'm referring to things like xanthan gum, slippery elm, PVP, carver, all of these create these jelly-like textures within the formula that makes it super easy for the comb to glide past your hair. The second ingredient type I wanna talk about are silicones. Silicones, in my opinion, are going to operate on a whole nother level than regular oils. Silicones are great for the hair. Yes, they do have a film on the hair, but the film is so amazing, it just creates this amazing slip, not only in conditioners, but in leave-in conditioners as well. My favorite go-to leave-in is the Aussie Moist Leave-In Conditioner. I think dimethicone is the second or third ingredient in that product because it is crazy, 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 crazy slip. I mentioned this in my Holy Grail product video. I will have the link below for you as well to check that out. But that product is amazing because of the silicone within that product. And then next is going to be cationic conditioners. Things like seroconium chloride, the hendrimonium chloride, because they soften the hair and smooth the cuticle down. 
which is what we want, especially for high porosity hair. And you're gonna wanna look for these ingredients specifically within the first four to five ingredients on the ingredient list. And that lets you know right there that that ingredient is inside the formula at a very substantial and efficient amount. And last but not least, when you have these products, make sure you are applying them correctly. I prefer creams to be smoothed into the hair, almost like a sandwich. And if you have thick hair and a lot of hair, don't stick to the whole quarter size, dime size amount. Use as much product as you need to get that formula to be saturated within your hair. And this is gonna take the performance of that product to a whole nother level. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys learned something new. Of course, I have a question for you. What is your favorite detangling product? Let's say your hair is tangled and matted. What is that one product that you reach for to detangle your hair? Comment below and I look forward to joining the conversation with you. My next video is gonna be on the three common mistakes we make when it comes to purchasing products for our natural hair. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure notifications are on because you're not gonna wanna miss it. Be sure to get the Curly Girls Guide to Hair and Care Ingredients to learn more about these cationic surfactants and these polymers and silicones and oil. I will have the link below for you to get the guide. Also, if you're interested in starting a hair care line, whether you are in the beginning, middle, or end phase, I will have a link below for you to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. All right, I love you guys, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.